Then must I know me can believe and know me can believe. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. I go on my people, hope everybody is okay, hope everybody is alright. So right now, we know everybody I wonder, just as all me I wonder, which parish are the artist parish? Right, 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 now. Is that the parish that I play a competition for see who can make the news the most? Yeah, robbery on the rise, crime on the rise, them are do kill woman and picnic, every single thing that happen. You understand? And when I hear the people them who in charge, I come come talk about it and say, alright, this is what we are going to do. The people them are say, oh, them not even get no bonus. But we just make the crime and violence in them yeah, so You understand as them turn. It's the next bad news. Bad news after bad news after bad news. People, it's really and truly serious. The police have released the identity of the businesswoman who was killed in her community in Mandeville. She is 63-year-old Marcia Chin Yu, a businesswoman and a resident of Ingleside Close. According to the Constabulary Communication Unit, CCU, Chin Yu was last seen alive on Wednesday. Further reports are that at about 8.30 p.m. yesterday, neighbors found her sitting in her motor vehicle with multiple stab wounds. The vehicle was found in the driveway of her home, like serious. So she reached home as me always said to you know people, no way, no safe. Cause as the woman reached home, at this them punks up on her and do her. You understand me? I tell you, so the females them these days, them have a hard time cause they not even know who for trust. You understand? Just over eight hours before a legislator in the lower house passed the dog liability for attack bill on November 17, a woman was attacked and bitten by a pack of animals during her usual early morning run in Portmore St. Catherine. The woman who ought not to be named received multiple bites both to the leg resulting in her paying a doctor bill of $34,500 for treatment and $8,000 to fill the prescription. The attack she received occurred at about 6.30 a.m. on the road alongside the Jamaica Defense Sports Green Bay Raid. You usually walk with some elderly people who have been doing it for like 30 odd years, but normally when I get to the foot of the hill, I run up, leaving them, she told us. You see, this is another case of when dog attack people again. Yeah, man. So she make y'all know, say what you know? At two years now, she had traveled apart there, you know? And this never happened to her yet. But hold on. Uh, who own them dog them? We need to find out who own them dog then. We need to take down some of them dog. I'm telling the truth, people. You understand? And look, speaking of talking the truth, like the people them now, all over. You understand? Me know say, who no know where I go on? Because I'm telling you something. Nobody now go left from who you want come and all over come do this act here. Yeah, man. Business was running smooth inside the National People's Corporate Bank, PC Bank. You know them bank, they're not for farmers and them something there. When men pose as customer, pull handgun and demand cash. This time at about 1.45 p.m. according to the police. They ordered the worker to take them to the vault where they took over 4 million in cash. Boom, but people. Remember, I know a PD and them little things. So the PC bank have a little money from the little farm of them. And them people said that's why they have too much money at the PC bank. For escaping the criminally physically abused a female security guard on duty and took away her service pistol. Now yourself, yeah, Gaddy, your life is pure, but your gun is stolen. You can always get back a gun, but you can't get back a life. Look at it that way. All four managed to escape before the security personnel and police could arrive. Manda in charge of the Olaba Police District, Deputy Superintendent Damian Madison said, The challenges are real and I encourage everyone to install cameras and to ensure that at least one is turned on strategically to the public area in such a manner to capture faces and license plate number. The police said they have no lead at this time. Right now, Olaba Real, 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 real at you understand? Rabbi breaking in and all them something there. Yeah, I go on over there. And the police are making no say, I you know, want to install these camera and attach them to the Jamaica eye so we can see what I go on with the people. They know where I go on now, old capital and them something there. But guess what? 
You have some people who don't want to do it because them have other agenda. Them know them friends, them are right people, and they must want to keep them friends' faces and names out of the public eye. But don't need to worry, you know. Once we know where I go on, we are going to make you see where I go on. And speaking of where I go on, people, a big, big, big shootout last night in Amobi again. Republic Amobi, non stop violence down there, like every night. It's like the man that make bullet down there, and must not go on. I don't understand. Oh, is it that every single night, where I go on down there, so? Eh? What do you think of them? They need to get rid of some of these youths. You understand? Out of this community. Yeah. Find them and get rid of them. Because church led at last night in an hour. They can ask anybody. But I soon go in the full details of it. Transpired down there. So I go on down there. So you can't know if nobody did drop out. Or how much special them find. Or the police them find no gun. Because guess what? The little police them down there can't manage the people. I tell you the truth. Me, I tell the truth. And speaking of all down the bad people, this happen now. Now, a Rosemont, yeah? See a man take over this. This happen. This man in again. Them slap with the brother, yeah? Yeah, just come ask the picture and you can't see him. I slap them, slap him with bright and early. Them slap him and them name bad boy, yummy. I saw them call him. But with a name like that. <laughs> with a name like bad boy, yummy. What you think it's going to happen? Hmm? And a yummy and a bread, you yeah, sell them call a bad boy yummy. How much things you yeah, do? And nobody nobody come over here come say I'm innocent, you know. Who nobody come say I'm innocent. And the next thing, Moby again, people them to end time on the road. This is a video of the people them all them are sweet on the road and a this happen. No, I'm not a Then must I know me can't. So this I'm not at the JUTC Portmore Depot. And them I say Ruan, yeah, the youth, we wash the bus them out there, drop out, you understand? Him crash the bus in our next bus and drop out me. I understand how it happened. Them I say him foot stuck under the brakes and run the back of the next bus and him just drop out pan spot. Well the picture of Ruan and over hang over the steering wheel and all them something there. So just come over and I group come marks with it and we shoot it go the same way. Cause over this way I deal with the things them right now. Over IG and in the group to see him way. You understand? I remember follow Grung TV and tell a friend for tell a friend, tell a next friend. Bring a next friend. Come come join me over here so we get all our people in the news. You understand? So look more.